My name is Jim Wade. Um, and earlier today, um, there was an incident on my street with an individual who was driving a tractor drunk down the street. And he had hit a couple of other things further up the street, and then he hit our mailbox. And so I contacted the police and um, told them the what was going on. So then um, he saw me watching him, I, I guess. And I, and I said to him, you need to stay here. The police want to talk to you. And when he did that, or when he, when I said that he took off walking the other direction, um, like he was going to get back on his tractor and leave. And I said, you need to stay here. The police want to talk to you. And it was a few moments later when he approached me and it, and he started running towards me, and I and I carried my burner in a outside the waistband holster, and so there were a couple of uh, moments where I put my hands up without anything in them, and I and I told him to stop, stop approaching me, stop, and he wouldn't stop, and so I pulled the burner out and I pointed it towards him, and then I uh, requested that he stop again, at least three or four more times. And he kept on coming towards me and he, and he was speeding up at this point. And so I felt the need to defend myself. So I discharged my burna. Um, the first round that comes out of my burna is always a kinetic round because that's the way I load, the, load, load them in. So the first round that came out was a kinetic round. The second round that came out was a burna max round. And then I began to fire and I hit him with all five of the rounds and and then it was about that time when he started to cough and rub his eyes and he sort of stopped. He decided, I guess, to turn around and start running the opposite direction or staggering, I should say, because he was rubbing his eyes and coughing the whole time. And immediately after that happened, um, immediately after I discharged my burna, I called 911 and I told the police I discharged my weapon. I told him what happened and why I discharged my weapon. So as soon as they came down the street, they already had that information. They said, where is he at? I said, he ran down to the end of the street where he lives. I can't tell because it's over the hill. So they went down there and, and they picked him up. And they were down there for a while because they said that, that they had to wait on him to wash his eyes out. It took him a while to wash his eyes out. And then they finally put him in the back of the car. And then they came back and talked to me and explained that they were writing the report as it was self-defense and I didn't get into any trouble. They didn't confiscate my burner um, or anything like that.